Right, and as Alia promised on what's trending, the lovely Caroline Obuya now joins us live. Good morning to you, Caroline. It's great to see you and looking lovely. As usual, Kenyans have been pleading with the president to lower the price of unga to 100 shillings, but the president has promised that it will be at 150 shillings. What are Kenyans saying? Are they appreciating this move? Uh, good morning, Purity, and good to see you. Um, Kenyans have, um, of course, the president announced that the price of unga will come down to um, around 150 shillings, and obviously Kenyans uh, are weighing in big. There are those who are saying, of course, that um, uh, the president is uh, making a right move in, uh, you know, trying to bring the cost of living down uh, by bringing down the cost of unga to 150. But uh, some people feel that uh, the people feel that he actually needs to be supported in his quest to bring the cost of uh, unga down but people feel that no um he actually promised that he'll bring the cost of unga down to 70 shillings and so he'd rather even at least bring it down to 100 shillings so there are those who feel that the president is do, is uh, making the right move by bringing down the cost of unga to 150 shillings but people feel that some people feel that um, still 150 shillings is still expensive and it needs to bring it further down to 100 or you know um uh, seven shillings as he had promised during the campaigns and so some people are weighing in also and saying that uh, uh what difference does it make if of course it brings down the unga to 150 shillings but the price of uh, salt oil and electricity is still going up so really they feel that it doesn't make so much difference but the weight they're waiting on that promise to see if he'll actually make good this promise of bringing down the cost of, uh, you know, um, unga to 150 shillings purity. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm sure we have more conversations online over the weekend. Sudan was uh, trending because of um, the instabilities um, currently happening right there. Also, you can tell us what's happening in regard to the shock. I mean, it's shock that um, Ashraf's wife could finally find out that he literally owns, quote unquote, nothing. Uh, in Sudan, let me begin with it. Sudan was trending over the weekend. Um, <coughs> fighting broke out of, uh, between the rapid um, uh, forces and the Sudan military army. And there was so much fighting and, uh, of the two warring parties that uh, it affected the country. So Kenyans, you know, the Kenyans uh, were caught in. They were, you know, weighing in about the whole situation in Sudan. Um, saying, of course, that doesn't uh, need to happen. We saw yesterday the president of Kenya, Ruto, you know, they had um, a virtual meeting with the other presidents from other countries to try and uh, calm down the situation. So it's, 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 a, whole, um, it's a whole topic that uh, is still uh, going on, bearing in mind that there's uh, thousands of Kenyans who live in Sudan and their, uh, their livelihood is at stake at this time that uh, Sudan is going through the, um, that moment. And so one of the people who weighed in uh, on this whole situation, of course, was the Minister for Foreign Affairs, um, Alfred Mutua. He said that uh, if the situation escalates, uh, they're going to put it in measures to, you know, evacuate um, those people who might be trapped in the, uh, in the you know, the, the, the situation. And uh, so they don't have to get affected. But people have a mixed feeling uh, following his sentiments that uh, if the uh, situation gets out of hand, they're going to evacuate people. They feel like they shouldn't wait for the situation to get out of hand to evacuate the people. He needs to act immediately and not wait for the worst to happen so that he can go ahead and uh, evacuate the people. All right. And, uh, yes, purity. All right, so it's not on our side, but I know in a few seconds you want to um, talk about <laughs> Ashraf Hakimi's decision. Ash, Ashraf Hakimi got people excited and uh, others had mix, mixed reactions yeah. over that, uh, of course, revelation that uh, he has nothing in his account, despite the man being, you know, a multi-dollar millionaire. And following that case in the court where the wife, you know, um, Abuk, Haki, Habi Abuk, wants half of the property. Uh, following that story, Kenyans were weighing in and the rest of the world were weighing in. Some those who support him say that uh, the man 
he's a very smart guy you know he puts all his uh, you know wealth under the mother's uh, name mm -hmm. and there's nothing in the account to show that he has any money but those who are supporting the wife feel that yeah. the wife has been his companion he has uh, they have two children together and mm -hmm. so he deserves at least to get, come mm -hmm. out um, with something out of the marriage so he should not um, live zero uh, mm -hmm. um, with right. even nothing out of uh, you know this whole uh, situation all right, thank you so much, Caroline, for that um, update.